Welcome back. We're going to start a new chapter, the induction chapter. Previously, we've seen a few proof techniques in Coq. We've seen how to prove with reflexivity, the tactic named reflexivity, that allows us to conclude that uh, by the reflexivity of equality, the two terms are equal to one another. Finishes off a proof at that point. We've also seen the rewrite tactic. Uh, that doesn't necessarily finish off a proof, actually. What it does is substitution of equals for equals. That is the notion of Leibniz equality. And we've also seen the destruct tactic. Again, not really a proof finisher, but a way of making progress in the middle of a proof uh, by doing case analysis on constructors of an inductive data type. For example, the S versus the O constructor for the natural numbers. Today, we're going to look at induction on, well, inductive data types in Coq. It's right there in the name. This is an extremely common proof technique in Coq. Uh, you're going to find us using it all the time in software foundations. So if induction isn't already your BFF, it's going to be by the time you stop studying this material. Now, let's pause for just a second to start off with here. As we proceed through software foundations, the chapters are going to build on each other. So we've completed the basics chapter already, uh, and that had some theorems, some definitions in it. We want to make those available for use in the next chapter that we do. And this will, by and large, continue that we'll continue to import everything from each chapter uh, as we go into all the others. So in order to get all of the definitions from basics into this chapter on induction, we need to import it. So the syntax for importing from one file to another uh, actually is the require command here. So require is really the, the main piece of syntax here, the main keyword that's going on. And what we're saying is that what we want to require the definitions to be from basics to be loaded into this file. Now, there's two other little uh, pieces going on here. One is export, one is from LF. So the from LF is a way of, of giving a kind of scoping to where we want to get these definitions from. Uh, it's going to have to be in some place that is named LF. Now, the way that we got that here is that there's a file in this directory. Let's load it so we can take a look at it. It's named cock project. And that's actually declaring some command line flags. Uh, you can think of this right here as saying that the current directory that we're working in is what we want to have known as LF for these kinds of require purposes. OK, so. That is really what's making the current directory be LF. If you want to require something from the standard library itself, maybe you've created a file with the same name as the standard library and you need to disambiguate them. Uh, the way you do that is to say from cock. OK, but we're requiring this from LF today. OK, the second piece of this is export. So um, the export keyword here additionally says not only that we're going to load all the definitions from basics and have them available inside of our file induction here. Also, if someone ever goes ahead and loads induction, transitively everything from basics becomes available to them too. All right, so the textbook chapters are going to use that to start transitively making all of the earlier definitions available in later chapters. OK, so I'm going to compile past that. Now, I've got everything set up nicely in, in my proof general, in my Emacs here, to make that happen automatically. It's going off running cock, compiling, uh, producing the object code for basics as necessary. Uh, you may find that in your own setup, uh, this is a little more challenging. Uh, if you are using VS Code, you're probably going to need to do all of this from the command line, honestly. Uh, if you are using Coq IDE that ships along with Coq, uh, there is a way to compile buffers in it. So you can open basics, compile it, then open induction and compile it. Um, so you should be able to get past it at that point. Let me show you the command line. Uh, I have a make file already created in here so that I can go ahead and compile files from here. Uh, and you're going to get a lot of output when you compile in the command line this way. This is expected. Uh, you just shouldn't get any errors. Uh, to make a make file yourself, I've put the command here. Uh, there's actually a utility cock make file that you can run. Uh, it takes as input that underscore cock project file to describe what's going on in this directory. Uh, we're going to tell it to produce a file named make file, of course. And we're going to have it compile all of the .v files in this directory when we run it. OK, so if the make file that is part of the repo for these lecture materials is not working for you, maybe you have a different version of cock or something like that, just rerun that command to generate your own version of the make file, and you should be good. All right. So now we've compiled basics, we've loaded all those definitions, and we can start doing some proof by induction.